my name is Set, yeah. I'm from the block, yeah. I am pretending to rap to keep my job, yeah. Okay, stop. Stop. How many times have I told you, <laughs> just let me chase my dreams? Indonesian hip hop's been on the rise for quite some time now. And artists like Ramen Girl, who just featured on the global Spotify Equal campaign, and my boy Rich Brian have made it onto the world stage. Hey Brian, watch you live in 2019. Sounds dope. But the history of Indonesian hip hop actually began in the 1990s. The first full-length Indonesian hip-hop album was released by Iwa K in 1993 with the title Kuing in Kembali. Indonesian hip-hop was seen as a controversial form of expression during the time. But despite that, hip-hop continued to grow with the record label Musica Studio releasing two hip-hop compilation albums in 1995 and 1997. After the end of the New Order, Indonesian hip-hop were slowly becoming more and more accepted into the culture, with the Indonesian Music Awards debuting a hip-hop category in 2003. It was first won by Paperclip for their song, Lambo. Then, a new era of local hip-hop began, with artists such as Saikoji, Bundan Prakoso and Fade to Black, Soul ID, Yako, and Kung Pao Chickens making their name in the 2000s music scene. Then came the early to mid 2010s, where artists such as J Flow, Lays, GAC, Adrian Khalif, and Young Lex joined the mix of famous hip hop artists in the country. Perhaps the first major international breakthrough of an Indonesian hip-hop artist came in 2016 when Rich Brian released his single Dat Stick and caught the attention of American rappers such as Designer, Ghostface Killa, and 21 Savage. More recently, new faces such as Ramen Girl and Matter Most have joined the hip-hop music scene releasing their debut albums in the late 2010s and early 2020s and bringing Indonesian hip-hop to where it is now. So here we are, Satya Permesi and Nico Arianto. For see today, but this rap was my idea though.